everyone, today I'm bringing you an explanation and a comparison of Mavic 2's 4K high quality mode versus the 4K full FOE mode. To start us off, I'll tell you about the sensor the Mavic 2 Pro uses. As you might know, the Mavic 2 Pro has a 1 inch 20 megapixel sensor, which is 5544 pixels wide and 3694 pixels tall. To compare it to Mavic 2 sensor, it's 4 times larger. Now, when we're shooting 4K video, 4K video is only 8 megapixels, so we have a lot of room to breathe, sort of say. When we're in 4K high quality mode, only this middle portion of the sensor is what gets recorded, and when we are in full FOE mode, the whole sensor is recorded but downsampled, which we'll get into a bit. As you can see, the image which will get recorded is cropped quite heavily. The HQ mode has a field of view of 55 degrees, while the full FOV mode has a field of view of 75 degrees, which means that the HQ mode is cropped more than 1.5 times. This is the only downside of recording HQ. Your shot gets cropped almost two times and you might not be able to capture everything you'd like. Or you'd have to fly a bit further away from your subject to get it nicely in frame. I personally don't mind this. The bigger the zoom I'm happier because the footage looks much more cinematic. I really like that parallax effect when flying around my subjects. It gives my footage that Michael Bay feel. As we said, the 3840 by 2160 portion of the sensor gets processed and recorded onto the SD card. As for the full FOV mode, the image from the whole sensor is taken, but is then processed and downsampled before recording. As we said before, the Mavic 2 Pro sensor is 20 megapixels or 5500 pixels wide. This means that it can theoretically record 5.5K video, but getting to 25 or 30 FPS in 5.5K requires much bigger amount of processing power and much larger heat output. This means that the drone should have a better processor and stronger battery, which is something a bit too far fetched for this price range and today's technology. I'm limited by the technology of my time. Alright, so we learned that the drone takes the whole sensor and downscales it. The way it downscales the image is by using the process of pixel binning and line skipping. This means, as the name suggests, that the processor removes every few pixels in order to get to that UHD resolution. This leads to the picture having a lot of aliasing and jagged edges and overall losing sharpness. Compared to HQ mode, there are no pixels removed and everything is recorded as is, which is the main reason why that mode is much better quality than full FOV. I recorded some shots using both modes, but what I did which I didn't see many other YouTubers do is, I recorded a shot in full FOV mode and then backed out and tried to get the same framing in HQ mode, so that the only difference we can see is a slight change of perspective, but other than that, both shots match equally. The reason I did it this way is to simulate real world conditions. Let's say you really want to get this castle roof in your shot. What you would do is, either bring the drone closer and choose full FOV mode, or you'd back up a bit and choose HQ mode. And the results were exactly like I expected them to be. Both shots have the same color, same framing, but the full FOV one shows that aliasing and those jagged edges. Here are a few other examples. And there you go, that's my explanation of the high quality versus full FOV. I hope it helped you understand the difference a bit more. Thanks for watching and goodbye.